when you plug the USB device into the computer. Then suddenly a warning popped up. You try again. And again, warning still appears. Then you open device manager, you find this. Then you start uninstalling the USB driver. Download new drivers. Reinstall. Reboot PC. Unplug and plug in again. But the warning still appears. Are you getting confused and sad? Don't be too sad. Maybe the tips in this video are for you. I present this snack, for us to eat together. <laughs> this is an example of a female USB connector. The official name is female USB type B. It is very widely used on a number of USB devices. Other female USB models. Like this. This one is female USB micro. And this one is female USB mini. These three models have the same function, namely as a female USB connector. So for this video demonstration I will use female USB type B when we will connect a device using a USB cable. Then the end of this cable is plugged into here. And the other end is plugged into the female USB connector on the computer. It usually looks like this. Okay, what I want to describe is In this connector there are four connecting points Which then goes through the USB cable, keep going there, until the end At the end there are four connecting points, which then connected to the chipset on the computer Can you imagine? There are four points of contact on the device And four points of contact on the computer For more details, consider the following image Above is an illustration of four USB connectors. This one is female USB connector type A. It is installed in computer. This connector has four pins or connecting points. Then this one is female USB B. It is attached to a USB device. This connector also has four pins or connecting points. Next up is this male USB connector type A. It plugs into one end of the USB cable. And at the other end is attached male USB type B. In short, the male A connector connects to the male B connector on the USB cable. Once again, each of these connectors has four pins or connecting points. These pins are Pin 1, namely pin VCC, is generally marked in red. This pin serves to connect the power supply 5 volts. When the female connector is inserted into the female connector. Then pin 1 is connected to here. And it's linked to here. Then pin 2, namely pin D. Characterized by white. This pin is used for communication or data transfer between a USB device and a computer. So, these two pins are connected to here. And here it connects to here. Again, here it is. And this over here. Pin 3, namely pin D+, is marked in green. This pin also functions for communication or data transfer between USB devices and computers. So it's linked to here. And it's linked to here. Next pin 4, characterized by black. This pin serves as ground. So it's connected here. And it's linked to here. A good quality USB cable generally has one additional cable, namely the shield cable that connects the protective cans of this USB connector. On a USB cable, from one end of the USB to the other end of the USB. Connected by small wires of identical color. Namely red, white, and green and black. To be more clear, consider the following. 
We will see the contents of the USB cable. Okay, here are four small fiber cables like this. Some USB cable models use quality cables low and easy to break. Imagine, however the USB cable may be pulled, or bent like this. And if it's repeated, it will very likely the cables are broken inside. We continue. An important thing I want to say. From a female USB plugged into the computer. There are four points of connection, which must first be connected to the connector at the end of this USB cable. Then on the device side, it's the same. There are four connecting points that must also be connected. And everything has to be completely connected, just a USB device you will work. If your USB device does not turn on, then the possibility of a disconnected VCC line and ground and if pop-up USB not recognized appears. Generally because one of the data lines is disconnected. It can be a D cable or a D plus cable. Or if it is not broken then the paths are possible D and D plus short connected. One way to determine whether these four paths properly connected, is to check one by one. From the device side to the computer side. Make sure the four points and the USB cable are working normally. I've experienced the condition, USB not recognize. I'm suspicious of the CH340 chipset in this USB device, back and forth I changed. Still didn't work. The unthinkable, the problem turned out to be in this connector. The connector is new and looks smooth, no guarantee of working properly. These tips also apply to Arduino fans. Either your Arduino USB chipset is CH340-like, or any other kind of USB chipset. For example the CP2102 USB chipset on this Arduino Uno. If you change back and forth, install uninstall, the USB driver still doesn't work. Check, Check the, the USB, USB connector, connector, and connector and cable you are using. using. It could be that the connector is loose, or dirty and rusty. For those who like electronics. This is ridiculous. But it could be because you do not expect, then this, stupid thing, you also experience. Hope this video is useful. See you in the next video.